Hi, I'm Leopoldine and I want to welcome you back into the Mindful Shift podcast. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad you are joining our tribe. This podcast is designed to empower you and help you create your best life. Have you been trying robotic affirmation but not seeing results? Do they feel a bit unnatural or core when you are doing them? Or even your affirmation for that matter? Robotic or not? Or any of your technique too? Don't worry, I got your back bestie. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you some tools and tips I use to help me with robotic affirmations. So even if you are not into robotic affirmations, you can listen. And those tips and tools have helped me tap into my subconscious mind to more quicker and easier manifestation. And just to clear things up right away, yes, robotic affirmation works. And they can actually help you easily manifest your best life. So we'll see together today in this episode how to use them effectively and what they actually do. So let's dive in right away. First of all, robotic affirmation aren't some new trick, like affirmation, actually, it's not new. It's literally been around for ages. And yes, I know, the term robotic can be confusing a bit, but what we are really talking about is a technique that Louise Hay, Joe Dispanza, and even Joseph Murphy have been teaching on and talked about already for decades. And I think I even said it in several podcasts, it is literally a technique you use a bit like a mantra. It is about affirming consistently and persistently like a mantra in meditation that you repeat for several minutes on loop. That's all it is. And here is the thing with robotic affirmations and affirmation in general. You don't have to feel them, you don't have to think them thoroughly or focus on them. And for any technique, you don't have any way to believe them. And yes, Anyway, it will work. And that's really is the first thing to understand. It doesn't matter at all if you are skeptical about it or you have doubts that it will work. As long as you keep repeating those affirmations in your mind, it will manifest. Because manifestation is a mental process through your thoughts, not your feelings. Your feelings don't manifest, but your thoughts and what you convince yourself of. So your beliefs do manifest. And I do it all the time to manifest. I usually use robotic affirmations, to be honest. It's even my favorite technique to use because I don't have to focus and especially on it because I don't even have to focus on what I'm saying to myself. I just choose one or two affirmations and I set them in my head wherever and whenever I want to on loop. And the name robotic affirmation is just a fancy way to say you are repeating a sentence like a mantra because mantra are specific sentences that hold or not. Sometimes we don't really know what it means, but usually when you choose your affirmations, it's it's better if it holds a certain meaning for you. So in this case, the affirmation you repeat robotically holds a specific meaning for you. Something that you can relate to and that feels natural for you to say in your mind towards obviously a desire you want to manifest. And the real key, as usual, is really to do it consistently on loop over and over again. And around robotic affirmation, there is actually a story from Neve Goldar's students, one of them that reported they had affirmed robotically for 16 hours straight. He literally affirmed and meditated for 16 hours. He entered like a state of knowing and soon after he became a millionaire. And I want you to keep in mind while that story is inspiring because it's a successful story, it's important to recognize you don't have to affirm robotically for 16 hours straight unless you really want to take on that challenge. But that's up to you. Don't forget yourself to do something exactly like someone did just because it successfully worked for them. There is some pitfall about that and this is such an intense challenge to do and sometimes can be too overwhelming for some of us. I personally wouldn't. I rather like dispatch it through my day and on days and days and days if needed. But again, that is a preference so it really is up to you. Like I said before, you can of course have him all day long if you wishes to. But here's the thing, I will say it again, you don't have to affirm for 16 hours straight. You don't have to do this for you to get your manifestation. Exactly like you don't have to feel or believe in your affirmation to get what you want. Exactly like you don't have to count 10,000 thoughts to 
feel like you get what you want. All you have to do is repeat the affirmation of your choice consistently and persistently every day. And that's exactly why robotic affirmations are efficient. Because like I said before, manifesting relies on your thoughts, not your feelings. And of course, like I said, I will say it again, if emotions help you manifest, then go for it. It really is just a preference, but it really isn't necessary for the process. So, when you are robotically affirming, how many affirmations can you choose? It's up to you. You can choose as many affirmations as you like, as long as they turn around the exact same idea. So, you can do a robotic affirmation session like a rampage, but maybe some of you will rather like just a couple of them, three, four. Or maybe even some of you can choose only one to repeat on loop. There isn't any rules in manifesting aside the one you set for yourself. You are the one setting the rules to manifest literally because you are the creator of your reality. And everyone's journey is literally unique about manifestation. So if you enjoy rampaging with 10 to 20 affirmation turning around the same idea, go for it. If you rather like free for affirmation you choose and repeat it to yourself on loop, go for it. If you rather like just one affirmation because you are, for example, manifesting by step, just go for it. Ultimately, it's always about what works best for you. And I will always encourage you to keep it simple because it's just easier to keep up with it every day if it's more simple. Personally, I rather like one or two affirmations about what I want and repeat them on loop. It's easier for me, it's a no-brainer, and that's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm robotically affirming. But whatever you do, you set an intention first and foremost, and you practice your affirmations consistently. And for those who start, I will really encourage you to start aiming for 5 to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes straight on and repeating your affirmation to that rhythm. And yes, you can totally take several 5-minute sessions through your day to have at least 30 minutes of it. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes in one go. And usually what I do is set up a timer to stay on track or watch a video on YouTube that is exactly the time. I need to repeat my affirmations. Any moment you are doing a repetitive task like taking your shower, brushing your teeth, doing your chores at home, or even a break at work is the ideal moment to do this. Even while you work out or watch a movie for that matter, or a show a series. Because robotic affirming is just a technique that will help you stay consistent and make it easier for you to manifest. So you can do it at any time of your day like a no-brainer thing to do. But if I any moment you feel yourself too exhausted, too drained, or literally you push too hard for it. Perhaps it is time to adjust your approach. Maybe it's your affirmation that you need to change so they feel more natural in your head. Or maybe you don't need to affirm for hours and hours like you do all day long if you do that. And maybe just affirm for 30 minutes as a goal, for example, that you divide through your day. Or maybe you need to reduce the number of affirmations you use and just perhaps focus on one or two and that's it. Now let's talk about one key about manifesting because one of the core principles about manifesting is literally to think about your desire as being already here. So it's like living in your head in the end you desire. Thinking as if you already have your desire right now. And honestly this is not complicated or difficult. It doesn't have to be also because manifesting simply involve telling yourself, I desire this, so this is mine any minute now. That's it. That's the essence of manifesting. Just recognizing that what you want is already yours right now or any minute now. While robotic affirming is a technique, living in the end or as if your desire is already yours is not. It goes beyond that technique and practice. We've talked about it before in another episode. No matter which technique you use, the goal of that technique is to bring you in a specific state of mind. That is literally the main goal of any technique you will use. To bring you in that mindset where you have what you want right now. You already have it. And it's really about embodying that belief consistently through your day. And while you probably won't practice robotic affirming 24-7 through your day, living and thinking from the end is exactly what you will do. Every time your desire goes straight into your mind. That's exactly 
exactly why I say to you to repeat your affirmations when you think about your desire or the opposite, to stay in that desire state of mind. Because your technique is meant to cultivate that mindset, that new state of mind you want to reach and stay in. And the technique you use to manifest work if you think it work. But let's talk about robotic affirming a bit more in depth. There is two important things to keep in mind when you're robotically affirming. One, no matter the technique, it's the power of repetition. Because the science behind repetition show it is truly effective. So to maximize your success with repeating affirmations or any technique you like, I will encourage you to do it when your subconscious mind is more open to it. Those times are usually before bed, before you fall asleep, or the morning when you wake up. But there is also several moments like that through your day and usually it is during a repetitive task. In the morning, like before you fall asleep, your subconscious is highly receptive to suggestions. And it is, of course, a great time to saturate your mind with those affirmations. It's honestly what given me the best results. I personally do it more before falling asleep and also through my day and especially through repetitive tasks like taking my shower or just after shower. The second thing that is important when you are manifesting and using robotic affirmations as any other technique is managing doubt fears and wavering. So you might actually wonder, what if I'm thinking the opposite while I am robotically affirming? Then what will manifest? I said it before again, you can't serve two masters at the same time. That's Neville that said this, and that is true. You can think one thing and think the opposite at the same time anyway. So the key is to remember that your dominant thoughts are what manifests. The state of mind you are coming back to all the time is what manifest in your reality. Whatever occupies your thought the most will come to pass and manifest, no matter what. But if you are robotically affirming and sometimes your mind is thinking, I don't really have this, this is not really true right now, that's not what I see in my reality, don't fret, that's totally normal, as long also as you correct yourself and redirect your thoughts towards what you want. Of course, your logic and mind will recognize that you don't already have what you want, but when that happen, it is really essential to reduce your attention on those doubt-filled thoughts and to choose again and correct yourself. Because the more you focus on those thoughts and give them importance, the more you will think about them and the more they will take over on your mindset. Creating a literal cycle that will reinforce your doubts and resistance. Instead, you choose again, you correct yourself and you focus your attention on your affirmations and convince Convincing yourself, telling yourself that no matter what, your reality has no choice but to conform to what you think, to your new mindset, because you are the creator, the main character of your own reality. And if you persist, over time, those thoughts will become less and less dominant and will purge themselves. And you will see more proof of what you are mostly dominantly thinking, if not already your manifestation. So the key to convince yourself and saturate your subconscious conscious mind is through repetition. There is no other way. While you could hate for hours all day long or even 30 minutes straight, it's often more manageable through a day to go for shorter station at a time. And the goal of this practice, of this technique, and like any other technique to be honest, is to focus on your desired outcome being already yours and bring you in that state of mind while blocking opposite thoughts that may come in and delay your progress. Robotically affirming is really great to prevent wavering, at least from my experience. And of course, you can choose to affirm all day long for 16 hours or for hours or simply do it right when you wake up before you fall asleep, only if you wishes, or do it by little sessions through your day. That's what is up to you. And there is also some debate about whether robotic affirmations works better than any other technique, like visualization, conversation, journaling, if it works faster than that, or on the contrary, if it is really effective. And honestly, like any techniques, those are effective, but it also depends what feels more natural and easier for you. For example, I notice personally, I have my mind that imagine visualize very easily and naturally, but some of you might not resonate at all with visualizing. And even if it's a natural way for me to manifest, I 
never like focusing on robotic affirmations or affirmations usually. And I do it through my day with one or two affirmations. That's personally what works best for me, what is less overwhelming and what literally I keep doing every single day without fault. And before you ask the question, I usually use blanket affirmations for manifesting because right now I have so many things I want to manifest. One thing to keep in mind is also that robotically affirming is great for people that struggle to live in the end, to be consistently in that state of mind. Or even for people that don't want to put so much energy into focusing on their affirmations or feeling their affirmations or visualization. Or people who don't have the time to do that. And that's why for me it's one of the best techniques out there. But ultimately, the effectiveness of robotical affirming is up to you and your preference. Explore any technique you would like to find what works best for you. And about that, let me share a bit of a secret that I didn't talk about yet. Something that is usually not talking of in the manifesting community. Because there is an effective method that can work as any other technique and it, that it's a bit like robotically affirming, especially when you are so busy that you can't make time for it or when you are tired and you feel you are wavering too much. And this practice and technique is simply listening to subliminals because subliminals are as much as effective as affirmations you think for yourself or robotical affirmations. That's exactly the same, especially if you make them yourself because this will be your voice you were listening to. And they also can be a complementary help for you to start to arrange your mind with your new beliefs. Because when you are listening to subliminals, you can literally go out about your day without even thinking about it. You can go about your daily activities without focusing on your affirmation or what you are telling yourself or the time you are passing to do this. No matter that you are working, taking care of your children, taking your shower, brushing your teeth, working out, or even when you are sleeping. While you are doing all that, subliminals can play in the background or in your headphones, allowing you to manifest effortlessly. And I will be honest with you, I do use subliminals every day. It's a complementary technique for me because of course you can dedicate time for your affirmations 30 minutes every day and I still recommend that because I still do it personally and that's what works for me. But sometimes you don't have the time or you don't feel like you have the energy to do it. And while affirmations and robotic affirmations will anyway manifest and bring you results. Listening to subliminal notes through your day or literally at night during your sleep can do exactly the same thing. And this is really something we are not talking about enough in the manifesting community. Because at the end of the day, what matters is what makes you feel good. And if the idea of using subliminals to manifest in an effortless and easiest way is what brings you joy and excites you and keep you going persistently for days or weeks, then go do that. And no matter that you are using both at the same time affirming and subliminals or that you are using one or the other, it's anyway all about repetition. And how consistently you can maintain that practice to stay in that state of mind where you already have what you want until you have it in your reality. Now, regarding the effectiveness of affirming, no matter it's affirmation or robotical affirmations or any other technique, if you believe that one method will work better than the other, then you're right. Your belief and what you think can literally shape your experience as it shapes also your reality. It doesn't have to take 10,000 thoughts or 16 hours straight to manifest whatever you want. What matters is the consistency and the repetition of those affirmations, those new thoughts, because that's all it is. And if you are affirming and consistently weather back to your your old false patterns, then of course those new affirmations, those new thoughts won't have the impact you expect. You do need to correct yourself and choose again over and over and as much as you need to because the key is to stay focused on your desired reality as being already yours through the day, embracing that new state of mind, literally. And any technique like robotic affirmation can reinforce that state of mind. But be careful about those wavering thoughts, those 
those doubts and fears that could create resistance if you keep thinking them and not correcting yourself. And no matter that you are choosing to repeat one affirmation or several ones like a rampage, ultimately the choice is yours. You are the one making the rules for yourself and you are the one deciding what works for you. And honestly, it should be what feels right for you because the method you will prefer, the method you will enjoy doing consistently and persistently through time will be the one that will help you surely the most and that will be more effective for you to manifest. So to resume, robotic affirmation is just a technique to mindlessly repeat affirmations like mantras. And that technique helps you saturate your mind with your new chosen beliefs and thoughts and help you easily and almost effortlessly ward off those doubts and fears at bay. So yes, it is a technique you can engage in and that you can even try, test or challenge yourself so you can stay in the state of mind where you already have what you want all day long. But every time you think about your desire, I will encourage you to affirm and every time you think the opposite act, to correct yourself and affirm again, especially during those times of anxiety and fears. While anxiety and fears or being stressed a bit can be normal, if you are consistently wavering and being anxious about what you desire and thinking the opposite of what you want, then you do need to correct yourself and choose again every single time. And feelings are a good indicator that you weren't thinking about what you want, but usually the opposite. So instead, reinforce your belief that you are the one creating your reality, that you have the power to change everything in your reality, that you are the one in charge, that you are the one on the pedestal, and that your reality has no choice but to conform to what you think, and that you already have what you want, that you always have what you want and everything works in your favor no matter what and these thoughts that everything's work out in your favor that you're safe that your life is always perfect for example those blanket affirmations can really help you lower and decrease your anxiety of fears and once it is done help you be more aligned towards what you want and really that is a powerful tip if you think you are short in time to affirm or you don't have the time or the energy to do it one day, just record yourself affirming and use it in the background as subliminal. Consider creating your own subliminals, really. Using your own voice, it will be even more effective unless, of course, you have a creator that you can trust, then go ahead. This way, you can still benefit from the robotical affirmation while just not doing anything for it, even in your thoughts. It really is a lazy tip. Keep in mind, robotic affirmation does work like any other technique and for that you don't need to feel or believe your affirmations you don't even need to focus on them simply repeating them consistently in your thoughts is what will create the change in your reality if you found this podcast valuable and i know you did consider sharing it with someone that wants to create their best life as well don't forget to comment like and subscribe remember it's not the end until you get what you want have an amazing week bye